Libra, this is Sharf. Thank you for coming back and thank you for your shares and likes and for your loyalty following the channel. It's very much appreciated and I hope you are well and enjoying the summer, uh, whether on holiday or not. And we are going into Virgo next week on the 22nd and on the 23rd we have the full moon. So there is a big energy shift again and you have one powerful reading. You have the nine of cups, you have the ten of cups, you have the your cup is overflowing, your wish is coming true. Wow. Okay, um, I was absolutely gobsmacked when the cards came out. Beautiful reading. But the overall energy is a little bit negative. Um, all depends what, how you take it. You might have been stabbed in the back by um, uh, your partner or potential partner and you have decided that's it. I can't trust this. I can't go through this um, stabbing in the back or gossiping about you. Um, you have finished something. Perhaps uh, you might have, let's see whether there was a third party. No, there was no third party. It doesn't look like that. Um, but some you feel devastated because you have the Ten of Swords here, the Ten of Blades. So somebody, it could be a friend that has stabbed you in the back because they're jealous of your success and happiness and your stable relationship. With these cards, the Ten of Wands, the happiest ultimate family, you've got it all. And the Nine of um, Cups, the Wish card. Wow, you know, there is definitely a lot of jealousy around you. You have finally got what you want. Everything, children, the house, the home, the work, the holiday, the ultimate happiness. So there is an ending. Um... And the, where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Again, you've got a 10. So watch out for double numbers, 10, 10 and 9, 9, uh, 9, sorry, 9. And uh, I think this is 13, 13. I'm not quite sure. Some, some of them aren't numbered. But again, the death card has come in twice. So let me have a look. I can't, sometimes it's number 13, I was right. So you've got 13, 13. So those are your double numbers. So those are endings, tens. Where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. You, where there is an ending, you um, forget about those jealous people. If they think that they were your friend and you thought they were your friend, then now there is an end to it. I don't see there is an ending in a relationship because I don't have the devil card here. I don't have the tower here. It's nothing but good. I think, let's see whether we can find any uh, persons. Uh, death represents Scorpio and the Hermit represents Virgo and the Lion represents um, Leo and you have Aquarius. So one of these people or any of the water people, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, could be the jealous person around you. Okay, those are the people that could have been a friend and they are jealous of everything that you've got. But they don't seem to realize that you've been working hard to get where you are and to get the partner that you have or your potential partner. You have been in transformation. You can see this with all the videos that I've done. You've had always procrastination or weighing things up. Well, it, it seems that you've weighed things up and you've gone for it. You might be expanding the family. It could be with a pet. It could be with an extra child. It could be um, expanding the home or um, In-laws could be coming to live with you, especially after the COVID. You want to keep it a one big happy family and still with the COVID in the atmosphere, 
and with the Delta version coming in, you don't want to spend this winter and autumn alone with in just your partner and your children. You might be expanding, buying a bigger house and living with in-laws like a commune. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> anyway, um, that's why you will need a sacred place like the hermit to retreat to when everything gets too busy. So make a sacred place so that you can keep it together. Okay. Okay that you can rise above the jealousy and the nitty-gritty um, of uh, petty family arguments. But definitely you're going into a new beginning. You're in transformation. You're reaching for the sky and you are spreading your wings and fly. Look at that bird over there. You've got birds in most of your drawings. Wow. Okay, so messages, definitely messages and signs. So if you find a feather, that is the divine and the angels telling you you're on the right path. You're in transformation. You are coming out and you're being seen. Okay, you're going into a new face, a better face. You, um, here you are, you've got the two of coins. You might be worried about money balancing up work and uh, family you might be definitely um, seeking a promotion so uh, you might be balancing uh, your money because you want to expand the house try to see it from a different perspective if you do uh, uh, take in the in-law laws or the in-laws will be moving in with you and you want to buy a bigger house then weigh things up the pros and cons definitely talk to your partner and to the in-laws and see whether you can spread the costs that they do the shopping or uh, they pay for the dinner or they pay for the electricity uh, try to make it really like a commune you share in a commune you share everything okay so learn to compromise and share and make a sacred place and let everybody know that that is your space and your sacred place so that if you need to withdraw that you can to meditate contemplate and evaluate you need to evaluate from time to time to maintain the balance financially and also mentally and physically your strength your love your patience will carry you through that is your success look at this happy families Together we stand strong. Now, I think that was Virgo as well. I'm not quite sure. So you could be dealing with a Leo or a Scorpio. Leo time to Scorpio time could be very significant. Okay? Because we've got Scorpio one, two, three times. Virgo we've got and we've got Leo. So there you are. The next three months could be very important to you. Big things are happening. Finalizing things and getting a new start so this is for um, September but remember we have also got Virgo um, from the 22nd onwards so this could be from the 22nd to um, the end of September the last week in September will be in Libra but uh, Libra you'll be in your element um, since um, you'll be in your own sign at that time. So have confidence, okay? Your cup is going to run over, your wish is going to come true, or a goal comes uh, to uh, true or to a finish. Here you are, the nine of pentacles. Again, an ending, a new beginning. Your cup runneth over. If you're not hooked up, you could be meeting any water sign. Somebody with an, a nurturing, caring, loving, passionate um, nature. Also can be very sexy and sensual. Okay. And we've got Scorpio at the end. So you're beginning with the Scorpio and you're ending with the Scorpio. So Scorpio time could also be very significant. If you're not getting your wish in the next um, six, four to six weeks, 
then it could be arriving in Scorpio. Okay. And your wish is definitely, I think that your wish or a goal could be coming true. You could have even two wishes or a wish and a goal. It how all depends how you formulate it. But your wishes are coming true big time. Finally, you're, you're getting your dues or dues. Okay. We also have from the uh, Quest Oracle um, cards, we have new love. So for those that aren't hooked up, you will be meeting a new love so long you get out there and you're being seen and you don't mind the challenge of competition or jealousy just rise above it you could meet a new love again 37 a 10 a new beginning for those that are in a, a relationship you could find the spark of passion again the ultimate happiness Ooh, nice one and that's been happening in a lot of readings Symmetry, symmetry, and that means, I believe, the same as sinking, synchronicity. Looking into your partner's eyes, their soul mirrors your own. Wow, that's beautifully said. And that's right underneath the cup that runneth over the Ace of Cups. And from the Unicorn deck, we have Soar Through Life, but don't forget to admire what you've achieved like i said your achievement lying underneath the lion how awesome is that great stuff independence you stand alone tall and proud now is your time yes now is your time you've got a good reading here and good news big time it is a whopper i'm so pleased for you libra so be focused on what is happening around you and not just in front of you. Stay in balance. Rise above negativity. Walk away from it. Boom. Just protect what is dear to you, your family, your partner and your home. Take care. God bless and stay safe. Please like and share and be awesome. Just subscribe and hit the bell more. Thank you.